Podcasting with Kerry Jones. Hi guys, and welcome to this week's podcast. Last month, I travelled down west to chat with sea trout expert, John Graham. I had such a good time. We talked for hours. I decided to put it into two episodes, and after putting part one on, the response I had was incredible. Messages kept flying in saying, oh, this is the best yet, and saying that it was a mine of information. So this week, shares his passion for the River Towie, but this episode, he talks more about salmon also. And the secret to success is his own version of the us grub, which in his words is the best fly in the world for salmon. And for those of you who aren't subscribers to my Patreon channel and enjoy this episode, please consider becoming a patron. So sit back and relax and enjoy my chat once more with John Graham. I went up to Scotland with them and on a, on a given beat of the tweed, right? And the gilly put us on uh, this beat. There was four of us then turned up on this beat in Scotland. My, me and my son and a, a, an elderly boy and his son. And he, the gilly put them up on a stretch at the top and they put us on a bottom stretch. Now the pool by the lodge was heaving with salmon. The tweed was on its bones. It was a sea pool. And the salmon were head and tail in the sea pool. Right? Right, go. I said, right, come on, Lee. Let's go down by there. No, no, the gilly said, no, no. you got to go up there now, he said. The, the, the tide has just left the runs up there and there'll be some of the salmon will be still in the runs up by there. So we went up the runs, and I was looking in these runs. I said, no salmon in these runs, Lee, I said. Come on, we're going back down. So we went back down now, got down to the sea pool, tried it, threw everything at them, and looked at nothing. So I said, bollocks to this. So I got out my die three, die three line, and a floating booby. In I go now throwing in this concentration. They'd stopped rising, but I knew where they were concentrated. What do you mean, so floating booby? Like the, the surface One of them, one yeah, of yeah, them, yeah. smaller one. Like yeah. a little, little bit silver and blue one there. All oh, right, yeah. Over it goes. And I could feel the salmon on it. Just tap it. And kept going. Kept going, kept going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, around the port. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's pulling me around the port. I was going around and round and round. Oh, he was a big bugger. Round and round and round and round and round. Gilly came down. Yeah, you got one, he said. I said, all right. I said, to tell you what, I said, can we stay here? It was getting near lunchtime now, right? We had to swap beats, right? I said, can I stay by you? And he said, no, you've got to change with these other two, he said. I said, ask them if they, if they want to stay up there, I said. <laughs> I'll empty this cow in pool, by your mind, I said. No, he said, you won't, you won't do that again. I said, tell you, I said, I will. He said, I go and put the kettle on, he said. <laughs> Honest, no, he left me, and off we went to put the kettle on. He got to the lodge like that and he went, Oh! He said, Hey, I owe man! <laughs> you another one? Another one. <laughs> Bent the hooks out. I couldn't hold on to them. I had rubbish hooks, didn't I? I bought hooks. So these are, these are good for salmon then, the surface? Oh, shit hot! You, go, you can get down there. You can get down there with them, man. They, oh, this is... They're the same deep. as sea trout. All oh, right, I thought you were fishing on the surface. You're not. You're still no, fishing down, deep. down there. Right. Down, down, down. That's where I they the drag on the bottom. Casting my my uh, casting my die three across the river. Hardly any flow there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was waiting, 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 waiting. 
and just keeping it off the bottom. Short leader again? Short leader, yeah, down, down. And then you can feel them, just you no know, like rainbow trout. Exactly the same, until it all went locked up. And we were in. Wow. Yeah. I, girl, when I finished, the girlie said, can I have one of them? I said, I shown you something now, am I? I said, and he said, you certainly have boys. Did he let you stay there in the afternoon? No. Oh, he started No. The, the old man and his boy wanted to come down and fish that pool. They'd seen them some, and the same as we had. But yeah. they never had nothing. They wouldn't, they yeah. didn't know all about catching them. Yeah, yeah. I can tell you now, right, that Toby, by God, it was a fantastic river. Fantastic. It's still good, but it's only a shadow of what it was. All these boxes now, oh. people know, right? I, I'm, you've got about 12 boxes there now full. I wouldn't want to see the size... Of, I wouldn't want to see the size of your waistcoat. I don't keep them in my waistcoat. My son is the only one that does that. I put some in my cap to dry and then back in my box tidy. My son's are scruffy as hell. So you'll just choose a handful of flies when you go? I know what I'm using. I know what I want from my sea trout. I'm not interested in anything else. I know. I know through trial and error when the river was full of fish. These flies have been proven and trusted between us all. Do you understand, Kerry? Yeah. There's nothing new to be... There is. I don't give a shit what they put out there. I know with a score. He's yeah. the same with trout, mate. I'm obsessed. I was an obsessive with angler. That. I never had one... My son, my daughter, my wife had six sons. Not one of them in throughout season. <laughs> Am I saying lies? I postponed my wedding because the sea trout were running. And you even took it on dates with the river bank? I married my brother's babysitter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. We, were, we were fanatics, man. Yeah. My brother never worked from the age of 36. You give it up, <laughs> go fishing. <laughs> That's the life, isn't it? Uh, you know nothing. These boys, I tell you, boy, I've been there, done it, I'm mm -hmm. a toby. I, people say to me, didn't you want to go anywhere? What for? I know, I know you What want... did I want to go anywhere else other than the toby when I was having fishing like that? Yeah. On a good night, fish running, cloudy warm night, the sky was the limit. Remember, we only had a little window. We never got to the river sometimes till 12 o'clock if we weren't supposed to be there. So we were only fishing <laughs> 12, 1, 2, 3 o'clock at the latest. You were away. Three hours, fast and furious. All right. Fast and furious. You were ripping them out. They don't believe me, Kay. <laughs> I know they don't believe me. Oh, I'm sure. But I don't give a shit. I've been there and done it. <laughs> Yes, jambos. Jambo. I can't, I can't tie enough of these because my son is always, he comes up here and he's straight in here. Is it a certain time they work any best? Any time, any time is for the jambo. If it's two of you fishing together, two of you fishing together, you fish as a team. You fish as a team. One of you is on the intermediate, one of you on the floater. Then if there's nothing happening, get down to day three. Do you know what I mean? This is yeah, what yeah. you've got to do. You work as a team. You work as a team. You don't both fish the jambo. Yeah. One of you fishes the jambo, the other one fishes the Alexander Lewer or an intermediate yeah. or a day three. You said, like, if you have a good fish now, say you have, you, you're out now, and you have a good fish, £10. Wow. Oh, I see. I like that flat. That's nice. Look at the profile on that. Man. Well, I've thrown them together. I tie better than that. These These are... My son picks the best out always. Lee picks the best out in the UK. He comes here and he good vanishes upstairs. He... If you cast that out now and add a ten pound, eight pound, whatever, see so Fifteen pound. Yeah. Don't fuck about. Would would you would you go big or go home, eh? They say. Huh? Go big or go home, they say, don't well, you don't get snapped, do you? No. No, but would you pause then? Pause. You know, like you have a cup of coffee. Oh. Not to spook the pool. Oh, dear, I just told you. Yeah, that's no, once they went quiet, 
get out of the pool. Don't keep showing a mat. Don't keep showing a mat. If you're fishing yeah. a deep, shankly way, you don't keep showing a mat all the time. No, yeah, give no. Taste of get out. Have a cup of coffee. Have a sit down. Wait. And then they wait. And splush. And splush. You don't they get fish. active. And then... You don't fish the, the jambo on a sinker, though? No, it? These are no, spits. only the polyzot. Yeah. No, what do you call those poly what? Polyzot. Polyzot, yeah. Yeah. No, no, these are off a floating line. I use a number nine double taper with these. All right, yeah. A number nine Cortland double taper. He can control it to a perfection. Is it? Didn't use weight forwards? Oh, blush, splash. No. Yeah. I like to. I like it going down nice and quiet. I know this, this fish coming away. Yeah. Nice and quiet. I can put a nine down quiet as a nine, just as quiet as you can put a number seven with double tape it down. Yeah. On my rod, see? Yeah. On and you'd outfit. fish these jambos single? Just the one? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Or like a ten just foot wind or something, is just it? Just the one fly. Yeah. Just the one fly. Going back to this one now, that's that's the badger, yeah? No, no, no. Where's the badger, yeah? There's now? the badger. All oh, right, badger I can see there, it. Look, yeah, see yeah, badger there, there, of course, I can see it now, yeah. That's the badger lure. I love that lure. I absolutely, I love them all. And the original you saw was one hook, and you made that into two. Yes, tandem. yes, it was tied up on a big single. Yeah. With with Tom Ryder, see? And the jungle cock there. Yeah, jungle cock, side. You don't have to put the jungle if you don't want to. I just put it because I got them. Yeah. Are there any certain hooks now nowadays you you like using? Yes. I like using all the Scandinavian hooks. Is it? Well, they used to catch them big fish, didn't they? Makes sense, yeah. Yeah. I like all the Scandinavian hooks. I like the Wilson for low water, but they no longer yeah. make them. Partridge, Wilson, yeah. beautiful hook. For fishing off a floating line with warm in a warm river when the fish were rising and take it. You know, when I was fishing up there as a young lad, come June, end of June, July, into July and August, you'd have moths, you'd have sedges action. The river was healthy. Yeah. It was before the acid rain hadn't taken hold, hadn't taken hold. The dam was built, which is like an acid vent, vat of acid. That's old in all the acid, that dam. Yeah. That dam was, was a, the, the death of the bloody Toby. It was the death of the Toby. It's, it's wrecked the Toby, the dam have wrecked it. The, the fish become lethargic. They don't want to come close to the surface. Is it? No, they come, that's why the jambo is good, for bringing the buggers up. The jambo was designed to bring the buggers, get them, wake them up. I know, I know. Wake you, the buggers up. I know you haven't been well lately, but do you have a cast a line now? Have you ever? Yes, I went this year to Scotland. Oh, did you? Yes. All oh, right, you yeah. You touched bugger all mine. We went <laughs> up. You don't, you I went, won well, was you I? Go. You went, went up. But I wanted to go, I was fed up in the house. Lee, Lee said, said yeah. come on, let's work. Lee and said he's going up and fishing the tea. And, and I said, up. oh, I want to go. And we went up, and we we are oh, beautiful. I enjoyed myself. You wouldn't believe, you, but, but I yeah. couldn't fish. I have to go in the river and get him out. I won well. I won well. Yeah. My son got into a bloody slab. He gave me the rod for five minutes. Oh, it was lovely. <laughs> the blunder, you know, eighteen foot the blunder. He was it. Yeah, love a boy. He's a beast of a boy. Lee and he. How big was the fish? He, oh, they would he came miss, off. He came, came off. off. Oh, <laughs> After they give it back to him, I said, "Hey, I said you got a big one there, mind Lee." I said, "Give him some stick, boy." He started to give the fish stick, and he just started shaking his bloody head. You don't use the double under. Huh? Yes, of course I do. I got him upstairs. What? So when you fish with sea trout, you wouldn't use double under? Oh no. No, no, no. I use eleven foot, eleven foot three, um, Loomis, eleven foot three. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, does yeah. does it work for you, man? That's all you got to do. It, it does you the went, work. You went once fishing, didn't you, this year? Where did I go? We leave somewhere. Oh, yeah, we went night fishing. I, he, I, he was on about this pool, and he, he didn't. He was nervous about going there, and I'd fished it 
years ago. And I said, oh, come on, I'll come with you. And he, oh, I, I buggered me up. But I went with him just to show him the rope. Yeah, yeah. Show him the ropes. Do you plan maybe going this year? Uh, yes, I, I'd love to. I want to go. They, they, talk, they went up to the TV at Lee and Gardy, my best friend Gardy. And Lee went up to the TV at they had a lovely time up there. What about, had, the, what about the Tawi though? The Tawi? Oh, no, they wanted to go to the TV at. Uh, they wanted a bit of salmon. They wanted fish, salmon. Yeah. They went to the TV at and they had some lovely fish, didn't they, Kay? Mm -hmm. They had some bloody cracking fish. And they've arranged, they, they want me to go with them now, uh, end of August, first week in September. Nice. And I'm hoping I'll be well enough to go, Kerry. Good. Right. I got the first fly in the world for salmon in my box, you see. Yeah. You don't need nothing but this fly. For salmon? For salmon and sea trout. Fantastic. Yes. Uh, people I've given this fly to have come on to me and told me about the sea trout they've caught on it, on the towie. It's unbelievable. And salmon. It is a natural born killer. And do you know where I had it from? Where? Hanging from a tree on the Edwin's Ford estate on the coffee. Wow. Yeah. We were fishing on the Edwin's Ford estate, me and my brother Terry. Oh, we used to fish some lovely water. When the towie was too high, we used to go to the coffee, see? And we had beautiful water between Frechva and Fransawal. Oh, it was beautiful. And the, the, it was a prolific river, the coffee was prolific. And anyway, my brother Terry, this gut was hanging off his tree. And he said, you know, John, he said, see, look at that fly up there. And I said, yeah. He said, can you think of climb up there and get it? I said, aye, I'll bloody get it now. So I went up the tree, I was like a winky there. I went up the tree and I got the fly and I brought it down. My brother looked at it and he said, this is a bloody good fly, he said. So he give it, give me the fly, and I copied it, and I tied it up. And in my lifetime of salmon fly fishing, I have never found such a consistent fly as this one. In fact, I've almost become a one-man fly for salmon. And it's not one you spoke of before. What? And it's not one you've just been speaking of, a totally different fly again. Because you mentioned the badger, that was something special. That's a sea trout fly. No, no, this is a salmon fly. This is a salmon fly. What's that one? Well, there's only one in there. This is a salmon fly. I wonder who lost it in that tree. I don't know, but there was a <laughs> seat on the pool. There was a seat on the pool and I bet you it's still there. I'll tell you where it is. When you go up on the switchback, do you know where the switchback road is? No. Well, when you come in down to in Slandilo, you go through Slandilo and you're coming out to go to Slangado. Yeah. There's a little road that turns off to Tali. Oh, I know it. That's the switchback. All right. Right? Go along there. When you come along there now, right, you're coming along there and you come to where the old bailiff's house is, Rufus Reese's bailiff. Right. You don't know where that is? No, I don't know that one. <laughs> know that. Anyway, we, you turn down by there, it, it's a junction there, and you turn for San Sowell. One goes to Pimp Saint, uh, and yes. the other one goes to San Sowell. I know, yeah. You go down the hill, past a new bridge. Right. The old bridge is underneath it. There's a car park just the other side of that bridge. You can pull in. Leave, found it. Jump out to the car by there, walk across the field to the corner, there's a rock pool there. Oh, what a pool. And hanging off the tree by there, and there's a seat there with a, a memorable somebody who used to fish it. I don't oh, know who right. it was. Probably Sir Bloody, that's the Edwinsford, Lord Edwinsford, right? In remembrance seat. In remembrance seat. Yeah, yeah. I've sat in it many a time and it was hanging off a tree by there, the gut was. And I climbed the tree by there and got that fly. And it's in the box there. And uh, it is a killer. And that's your number one salmon fly. If I give it to you, you'll give it to everybody. 
but I think everybody I'll... has got it. Mine. <laughs> I give it to all my best friends. And he says, now don't, don't give, give it, it to anybody else. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, you put it on and leave it on. I tell you straight, don't never bloody take it off. You're a bloody fool if you take it off. Had you seen the fly before you saw it? Uh, no, pattern. I knew nothing about it. My brother did, though, because my brother was an artist. He, Terry, he studied these flies, see? But uh, this is a bastardised fly of it, this is. It's up to date with modern material, right? It's got, um, it's got uh, ice dub, uh, ice dub, uh, what do you call it? The, the, the ice dub with the, um, oh, Christ, I can't remember the name they call it now. And you've got the jungle cock like as a oh the jungle cock yeah you've got almost. well the jungle cock on this right but I'm, I'm experimenting with a new pattern for it now and I have tied a couple but I'm not showing normally of them there's the little flying oh Jesus <laughs> <laughs> let's have a look at it it's, it's perfection it, it's it's a beautiful salmon fly and it's tied on an iron see a pea wow. a pea the strongest salmon hook you can buy from it's partridge, a, the pea. It, it looks it, doesn't it? It's, it's got the shape to it. Killer, it is, boy. I tie that on brass copper tubes, on doubles, trebles, right down to size fourteen, or, or even smaller. It's a killer, it is, boy. It's the uh, a scrub. So the only difference is with this one. I done away with the orange ackle at the centre and I prefer it all white. I like white in it. Contrast, doesn't it? It's beautiful. I it prefer does, yeah. the white. You don't see many with white, do you? No, but it, you know, but it is. There's something about white. Yeah. There's something about white. I love white. I'll take pictures of these now. Yeah. And... I, I'll show you a fly now, right? Now, I know you're not going to believe this. At one time on the River Tower, by yeah. How long ago, okay? Oh, dog, depends what you're talking about. <laughs> when I retired, 2005? Five, yes. 2005. We were having a fantastic run of salmon on the River Tower, by yeah, right? It was nothing for me to leave this house at 6 o'clock in the morning and go down the River Tower, but then come half a dozen salmon. Like that. Every one of them on that fly I just showed you. Right? But anyway, when the river tower was running a bit dirty, I also like a cascade. Fantastic yeah. fly. Especially the green butt one, right? Yeah. One morning, me, Gary, my friend, and a boy from Morriston, I can't remember his name. I can never remember his name. He nagged me for one of these, right? And I give him one. That's the cascade? Just a cascade, but a sparkler cascade. All right, sir. Right? So he nagged me for one of these. And I give it to him. Anyway, this morning, I was on the girder pool in Trabanos. My friend was on the wall pool in the Nismedo. And my other friend was down on what I call the ship farm. It's, it's uh, where the sewage comes out. It's a lovely mm. flat, right? He, the boy on the flat had five on the sleigh. My friend had five on his sleigh. And I had four <laughs> on the girder's pool, all on that fly. In two and a half hours fishing. On the same fly? On that fly. The river was dirty that morning, see. I think it was this. The sparkle. sparkle that makes a difference. It, the sparkle cascade, I call it. Is that your version of the F-scrub or the one yes, you see? my version of the F-scrub. Yeah. You haven't got the original? The original I haven't got anymore. It was no, only I mean, tied like with you... feather. It was only tied with oh, feather. Right. It was tied with the golden pheasant. i got to have a drink. Give us a drink, love. Well, I've given you a cup of tea. I know I am touched. Do you want water? Yeah, or... a drop of water will do me, love, lovely. You can have that. i give oh, you that one. Lovely, thank I'll you. I'll give you it. You can have it. I will put these. Do you go salmon on. fishing, Harry? Well, funny enough, i just been asked if I want to go up, up to the Tweed on the last weekend of March. Let me tell you a story about the Tweed, the junction pool on the River Tweed. 
My son, for his birthday, he was keeping an hotel at the time. He owned an hotel. Did he? Yes. Lee owned an hotel in Dumfries, uh, New Abbey. What was the name of his hotel, Craig? Criffa. Criffa. The Criffa, <laughs> Criffa Lamp Hotel. He owned the hotel and I used wow. to go up there staying with him. I fished all of the best rivers up there and caught fish in them all, except the spay. I failed on the spay. Wow. I, I failed on the spay. Anyway, here's a story for you, a classic. My son, his wife, for his birthday, bought him a night weekend in the hotel. That's the big hotel that's covered in glass overlooking the junction pole of the Tweed. So they go in there and they have a meal, right? And I was, I, was I fishing? I can't remember. No, you went with him. I went with him, no, but I, was I fishing here, down here when I, I phoned? Anyway, I can't remember. He phoned down and he said, Dad, he said. I said, yeah, you never guess what I am. And I said, where are you, boy? I'm on the junction pool. I said, oh, you bloody bugger, why are I with you? <laughs> no, he said, I'm uh, on the hotel, he said, and you'll never guess who I'm stand standing next to. And I said, who are you standing next to? Chris Tarrant, he said. As you, I said. No, oh, nice. As he fished? Yes, he fished the junction all day today. And did, I he, said, did he want to phone a friend? How much, <laughs> how much did he catch, Lee? He didn't catch nothing, Dad, he said. Is he fishing tomorrow? Yes. Well, Lee, I said, give him the killer. Well, he gave him the killer. He didn't ask, he gave it to him. He gave him the killer, right? Give him the killer and tell him to leave it on his cast, irrespective of what any pissing gilly tells him, leave it on his, your cast and you'll catch fish. And tell him, it's the best fly in the world. Those are my words. If I drop dead by you. No, Lee said it. I, I said it. Right. No, you be quiet, you. You said it wrong. <laughs> Go on. You're on the same lines, but you, Lee said it, not right. you. Right. So anyway, following day, was it? There's a phone up, Lee, on the phone. Dad? I said, yes. How did he get on? He had five, Dad, he said. I said, what did he catch him on? All on the earth scrub. Wow. I said, good. What did he say? He said, tell your father that it is the best fly in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honest, no. Kerry, that's the truth, boy. Wow. That's the truth. And he bought Lee and the man there a couple of bottles, of wine. Couple of bottles of wine and put them nice on the table one. for him. There's a little story for you. Brilliant. Isn't there? Well, I I've, love I've loved this chat, and I've got to be honest, I've been looking forward to it since the moment I messaged you a <laughs> few weeks I ago. I hope now. you've done all right. Yeah, I, hope I you. have, and uh, again, talk for hours. You can take them with you. I'll put them in a frame, I will. No, I don't put I, them in a frame. I will, you I appreciate that. You, you, you. I, I am over the moon. I giving you everything that I, I was catching on. You got the black ghost, right? You got two the black, black ghost. ghost. You got yeah. two black ghosts, right? And that's the badger. Remember now, there's a specific reason for my flies. They're not just tied up. They, they're specifically tied up for the towie. They're towie flies, these are. What is that one there, no? That's just a black and blue. Wonderful fly. Yeah. There is times when this one goes better than the all black, you know what I mean? Yeah. But not often. Not often. These here are my go-to reliable lures. You've got to have these. They're wonderful, these are. I love them. That's the Silver Doctor. F strip this over over resident fish early in the morning. Oh, they love it. And strip it. You know there's fish lying in a particular pot, even if it's in stagnant water. Whip it out. Put your rod under your arm. And Come in. Yeah. Oh, Christ. So you do roly-poly as well? Yeah. Oh, yes. In stagnant water, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, boy. You know what I mean? These lures, this black and yellow here. Yeah. Oh, my God. You can phone Gary up, my best pal, right? Gary, he'll, this fly is had, for sea trout is hardly ever off his cast. A little black and yellow. Beautiful yeah. fly. A lovely fly. A quiet fly. 
for clear water. You know, the blue and this this one here is for fresh water. When there's uh, the river. What do you mean by a quiet fly? There's no disturbance. No, no, no extra flash in it. No flash. Just a yeah. nice quiet fly, black and yellow. There's another one here somewhere. Another one, little black and yellow. I tie with a yellow guinea fowl in front. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, these are little killers, like, you know? Yeah. They're killers. They're absolute killers. So what as you started years ago, you said we're fishing small flies. You don't fish small flies. Oh, no, no, man, about now. If the river was like it used to be years ago in July and August and sedges, you'd have sedges climbing over you. The river yeah. was healthy. The fly life was abundant there. Sea trout were rising and taking them. Then you'd be fishing little Wickham's Fancy. Yeah, um, it's, it's, um, Wickham's Fancy. Uh, what's the other one? Um, oh, like a search pattern? Yeah, you know, Toby Topper. Toby Topper. Silver Nicker. These little flies, the Silver Invicta, the Golden yeah, Invicta. Brilliant. They're all good flies, like, but they're for feeding fish. Yeah, yeah. Do you understand? The fish are lethargic there now. I'm nearly always fishing a lure. What is that one again? That's just a, a bastardised Alexander tandem. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just a black lure. It's just a yeah. black lure. You've got to have these. You, they, 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 they. Like the Towie is a big river. Oh, so yes. It's not necessarily a fish the size of fly, the size of river. You'd be quite happy if it's a small river, fish around. You would fish this. If the, if the fish were travelling and there was good water in the river, I wouldn't fish this in the dead low ri no. river. No, no, I'd be on flies. Yeah, yeah. I'd be on little flies. Or these little things. There's nothing wrong with these. These are lovely. They're yeah. lightweight. They're lovely. I got you, yeah. They cast well. They're not like a tube fly. A tube fly, oh, you've got to keep checking your covering fly all the time to see if it's wrapped around the treble or something. Yeah. These are just like a fly. Yeah, they yeah. perform well in the night, yeah. and a fly that performs well in the night is is invaluable. You yeah. haven't got to check in your fly, you know, it's just like fishing yeah. a fly. I find anything with silver and black in it is oh, brilliant what? for trout, generally. Yeah, stoat tail, silver stoat tail. So my, my brother, now, my brother Terry would say to me, what are you fussing about, what the old man? He'd say, well, look, it's black and silver, boy. Ah, yeah. you're right, Terry. I fancy putting a bit of blue in. Yeah. <laughs> just, that little twist something. Uh, so, uh, that's all. all. The fish. That's all. You know, whatever takes you fancy. Like, but there is certain flies you just can't get away from, and this is one of them. This black, the and, black yellow. and yellow. I love it. I love it. It's a bloody classic. That is. It's a little classic. It is. Yeah. It's a beauty. It's a little beauty. That is. I love it. I didn't know if you were familiar with with what I've done. But I done lots of stuff for the magazine for years, and I did the competition scene, and I got stale, you know. And I'm thinking there's got to be more to it. So my obsession then was the ferox of Ireland, brown trout, on Loch Corrib. Well, I've got my boat. I've got my own boat on the Corrib. Oh, I have, no. I've done now for twenty years. Yeah. yeah. Corrib, big uh, huge lake, that is. Thirty-three mile long, eight, <laughs> eight mile wide. <laughs> See? And it's like, I'm at home, it's my place. Mm. And I used to go, I got an obsession then. I wanted to catch the Herox. biggest trout that ever swam in our lake. Herox trout. Yeah. And uh, I did it, I started the, fe I fished island for years, but I started the Ferox fishing, 2002, and I did get a record. Did you be done? 25 pound. Brown trout. Yeah. I hooked it at two o'clock. I landed it at quarter past three in a big wind. The wind is as big as, waves big as this roof. Fantastic, boy. Up. Fantastic. I got it on the living room wall now. Yeah. Well done, Kevin. But uh, it became an obsession. Even a long weekend or a week, two weeks, I'd, I'd be a wealthy man now if I didn't discover Ireland. I was over there. And I'd be over there for two, three weeks at a time. I'd be there at, on the boat, sometimes as early as four o'clock in the morning, but more often than not, 11 o'clock. And I'd be there till dark by myself every single day for those three weeks. Trolling, you are. Trolling roach. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but in the beginning, people would say, oh, yeah, you caught a trolling roach. But right, I know that lake, what's under the water, 
better than most because I know the drop-offs, where they feed, when they feed, and there's different wind directions you control. There's different mounts. You've got to earn that. Yeah. You've got to earn that. And the number of times I've come in off that lake with nothing, I lose count. Well, I tell you this, I can tell you this much, right? You're a very lucky man. You're a very lucky man in doing what you really what you really wanted to yeah. do and you succeeded in catching yeah. the biggest. There's plenty of people. I mean, I wanted to catch a record sea trout in the toe, but I never got around to it. But well, yes. I, and I know for a fact that my best friend took a broke once with him who could hardly cast at all, right? And he took him to this pool and he got in behind my best friend and he cast, first cast, and he hooked a sea trout and it was 18 and a half pounds. Ah, that would be sexy, wouldn't it? Somebody put the time in. Don't get that. And somebody just... Can you imagine how my best friend felt? <laughs> and my brother, Terry... He done it to a bloke once on the River Tower by yeah, in the pool, one well known pool that I fish. He took this boy there, showed him how to cast and to, what's the name, and he hooked the salmon, 21 and a half pound. It's the record of the tower. No. <laughs> he never caught a salmon before. My brother Terry pictured that fish in the Vardra rugby. Really? <laughs> What I found though, the, Nikki, you know? oh, yeah. the journey is everything though, right? Oh, because yes. once I had that fish, I took my foot off the pedal then. And it's like, yeah, you've gained something, but you lost something. I yes, went over, you I, have lost something. I went over to Ireland for two weeks in 2012. I stayed there for two and a half years. Have I was you out bad. You were a boy and a half, weren't you? And then, what about your missus? Well, I, I, I got a different <laughs> one now. <laughs> But I think you do, it's like, and when I was living there, I'd go out once a week. Mm. You know, you, you lose that buzz then. Yes, yes, Once that's you've right, got, like, and people say, oh, you can catch a bigger one again, and thinking, mm. that's not the same, you know. No. It's like. you set your sights on that now when you've done, done it. it. You're, a, you're, you're a lucky man to do yeah. that. And a it's lot. nice, it's on the wall now. You know, that is lovely, boy. That yeah. is lovely. I know, years ago, I never took pictures. I never took, we never out, I didn't even own a camera. But I didn't have the fish long enough to take pictures, they were gone. Yeah. I, uh, that's the only trouble see it with me. I mean, I had six boys. I spent a lot of time on the river. I had to earn money. I was selling my fish. But I wasn't the only one doing it, mine carry. There was a lot of people doing yeah. that, mind, in those days. Like, you know, the towee in them days was magnificent. The gravel was white. Everywhere you went, you didn't need a torch in the night because the, the gravel on the side of the river was pure white. You could follow the lines of the gravel. Do you know what I mean? Well, there's one question I ask now. Every podcast I do, there's one question I ask everyone. Go on, boy. Where would you want to be to make your last cast? Oh, that's a hard question to answer, that is. That's a hard question to answer. To make my last cast, I can think of a thousand places. I can think of a thousand places I've been. Any pools? Yes, but then a lot of them are no longer there. The river has changed out of recognition. I got such memories. There's nothing like sea trout to give you lasting memories. Yeah. It does, it gives you lasting memories, you know. The night, a, a night with cloud and the moon sailing through the cloud like it's like a galleon, a gypsy night I call it, and strong wind blowing upstream. Them nights the big sea trout used to be on the run and you'd be fishing and, and, and casting against the elements, <laughs> whacking it into the wind, you know what I mean? <laughs> and when they used to take it, they used to take it with vengeance. <laughs> That's the sort of dynamic fishing I remember. Fantastic! So where would you like to go fish? I can't, I can't answer that. <laughs> because there's so many. I've been to so many piece, pieces of beautiful water. Well, it's been a pleasure to have come here and 
to share this knowledge you've got. <laughs> um, I, hope it was, I hope it's worth it for you, boy. I've absolutely loved it. And I can see now why so many people have told me over the last 12 months, you need to speak to John Graham. And I'm really glad I did. And I really appreciate it. Thank you, Gary. If you've enjoyed this podcast and want to listen to more, including part one of my chat with John, please consider becoming a patron. Well, you will get over 100 past episodes and weekly podcasts, plus photography and exclusive content. To join, visit patreon.com forward slash casting with Kerry Jones or see the link on my website, castingwithkerryjones.com. Well, that's all for now. Tight lines and don't strike too soon. <laughs>